Miss Chloe is a young woman that's 22 years of age who enjoys ambitious about what's going to happen next in life for her. She's a very fun, interactive person, and she loves being around good people. When it comes to this question, um, I'm originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, but I've been here in Dayton, Ohio, basically my whole life, but Milwaukee will and always be my home. Um, honestly, to be back home with my mom and dad, uh, me and my twin sister when we were younger, um, we did live with our parents for a few weeks, but I ended up um, being raised by my grandmother, while my father was in New York for so as soon as he came back home, I ended up coming back home, and that's why I'm here today. Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> Love. Air did. Pass out. Five bottles to the head till I pass out. Um, honestly, I've been a part of more than 10. Uh, when I first started um, the whole going out scene, I was. My first event that I went to was at the gym meal. I'm sure a lot of y'all remember that. Um, went to the gym meal, and um, one of the promoters has saw me in the club, and you know, he's like, we're from Facebook and I'm like yeah we are so he ended up writing me on Facebook and I ended up you know helping him out with all his events and honestly like that was my whole start of doing my own she know how to throw all the good parties, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? She know how to throw parties. Ain't got to worry about no drama. You know what I'm saying? You can all just come and just have fun. Ain't got to worry about nobody fighting. I mean, it's just a nice little good time when you go out. Because you get what you pay for. Well, Miss Chloe's events are very fun. I noticed that her events are slightly different than some of the other events, but people tend to have fun. I don't know if it's the ratio of people, what type of people, however. They have fun, great time. We never have any major problems. And uh, that's one reason that I know of that people have to come to Miss Chloe's events. I mean, who wouldn't want to come to a Miss Chloe event? She's so modest, and she's always going to be on the dance floor just dancing. It's just fun. Not the fact that she's only Miss Chloe, I mean, she shows everybody respect, everybody respects her. So when we hear or see about an event that she's doing, we all rushing out to the mall, trying to get ready. You know, we gotta get fresh enough for a party. I mean, every party I've been to is a bunch of fun. Everybody knows when you close your party, it's on the popping. So you gotta get there on time. No bickering, no fighting, it's all classy. So we just go and have fun. Oh, man, that's, that's easy. Uh, how y'all doing, everybody? My name is DJ Four Seasons. Uh, follow me on Twitter at DJ Four Seasons, IG the same. But I mean, Miss Chloe party is just crazy, I have to say. Starting back the first Fridays, I mean, I sit there and I'm like, man, I've never seen a crowd like this come out to events ever in Dayton, Ohio, man. So I'm telling you, if you have never been to a Miss Chloe event, you gotta, you have to attend, you have to. It's like a must, man. Because every time you come out, you're always gonna have a good time. The vibe the crowd gives off, it just, it just makes you wanna dance. It's never a dull moment. Sweat it out, sweat it out, sweat it out, sweat it, sweat it, legs up, legs up, spread them out. The name of my company is Chloe Nation Entertainment, and you can actually find my page on Facebook, which is www.facebook.com slash Chloe Nation Entertainment. Um, basically what that page is, it keeps you informed on all my up and coming events and as far as like pictures from past events, if you ever want to find pictures of you and your friends, you can actually find that page. I show everybody love, so I'll probably tag you, but yep, the name of my company is Chloe Nation Entertainment. Chloe Nation provides as a company, um, I bring out a well upscale mature atmosphere. Um, no matter what the age group is, honestly I allow my age group to be 18 and up, but when you come, I mean you'll see all ages from 18 to 35, I mean clearly. Any and everybody coming out, and that's one thing I can say that I provide. Um, I also provide, to me, um, I'd say just 
it's time. I mean, we have so much fun. I don't even think I can answer this question professionally, to be honest. But we have a good time. So for you to see what I provide, I suggest you should come out and check me out. What your name what is? Your name who is? you came who with? You came Stop with. talking to them lanes. They on the same shit. Bott bottles in the air. I stuck with the name Chloe Nation because when I think of it first, the first thing that comes to my head is greatness. The name Chloe means to be sensitive and creative that has idealistic qualities that can be expressed in many different artistic areas. The word nation means to dominate worldwide. And my, um, my greatest aspect is to be worldwide, like I plan to be great in life. And I mean, right now I'm only 22 and I feel like God has definitely been doing his thing for me um, as far as like connections, um, even just being like an uplift towards other people. I feel like the name Chloe Nation can carry a very long way. And I'm actually pretty honored that God blessed me with a great name. Stripping for tuition, but she used it on her hair. Said she got a dorm and a room ain't never there. She only called me when she ain't wearing nothing. What I think makes Chloe, Chloe events different from the rest, I would have to say the atmosphere as well as, you know, her self, her events. Majority of the time, at least everyone I've been to, I never encountered any violence or fights take place. Not saying that it's not a possibility that it could happen, but the majority of the time you just have a group of mature people who know how to conduct themselves well. And, you know, her events always, always, um, I've never been in it, never been a time where a crowd hasn't showed up. Her, her events are always overpopulated. If you don't get there on time, you're going to miss out because you're not going to be able to get in because it's like a sold out event. It's clearly the main event. So I would say that's what makes her events different from the rest or, you could say, better than the rest in my personal It's, it's a really a lot of things. I mean, she's a very likable person, so when you walk into an event, she's going to speak to you no matter if she knows you or not. She's going to welcome you. She's going to make you feel comfortable. And that's that's some a lot of promoters are not really doing anywhere. I mean, they're, they have no reason. They just want you for your money, and that's just the way it is. But I feel like, you know, Chloe really puts that atmosphere out there where you feel like you want to come back and you feel welcome, and you're like, man, this is just like the hottest events in the city. Well, all of her events that she's had at the vault has been drunk and free, so... She um, basically has safe parties, drama free events, feel safe, um, and you won't have a good time. I mean, the interaction with the crowd, like, no one's standing around. She's always in the middle dancing, just, you know, having a good time with everybody. Like, she's never faked anybody. She speaks to everybody that either approaches her or walks past her. Like, she's always, we turn up every day. Yeah, I agree with her, really. Um, just usually when you see Chloe around at her parties, a lot of people like to act like they're too busy to speak, but Chloe, she won't never, like, not talk to you if you're at her party. And yeah, I do agree, like, nobody is ever sitting down at a Chloe party. Well, hair did, ass out, pop bottles to the head till I pass out, legs up. Um, honestly, the pressure about being a female, me as a young woman, I feel like, I mean, being a woman, they really never had the opportunity to do anything correctly as far as, like, if you think about it, back in the day, you know, women weren't able to vote. And um, honestly, like, when I think about it, though, I don't think that, like, me being a female, I'm not able to accomplish anything but as far as like me doing all these events I feel like I'm dominating right now um, being a young woman like I know they say almost everything is a man's job but us women we have the power to take over and rule the world so you know honestly with ruling the world um, I have a, a group that I have been talking to you know my good friends um, Stacy and all my other girls about coming up with a team called Who Runs the World. And basically this whole team is young individual ladies um, having a passion for what they desire to accomplish in life. Um, I have a videographer, 
you know, me as the promoter and the host, and, you know, I have a lawyer. So, I mean, honestly, I feel like being a woman, we can conquer the world. And, yeah, I mean, that's just honestly what I believe. Like, I believe, um, you know, God has definitely blessed me, and, I mean, there's really no other God that I serve that, you know, I, I really, really, like, believe God will definitely keep me motivated and to inspire and uplift others as well. To my young ladies at that. I'ma come through and sweat it out, 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 sweat it out. First off, I would say there is no con as far as being a promoter besides learning about the business. Um, every time you have an event, um, we all have our our thoughts where, you know, maybe we feel like, you know, we may not do good that night because of we, we probably didn't promote as well as we thought we should have, but um, I honestly don't think there's a, a con to it. No, I just really believe, you know, you know, knowing about your business and, you know, the way you promote your event. Like, I mean, you have to always to me think positive when it comes to promoting your event for the night. Um, as far as a pro, I say to me, um, regardless, no matter where you're at, um, to always be respectful. You know, if you see someone out, you know, that definitely brighten someone's day, you know, I see so many people out all the time, and, you know, they look at me, and I say, hey, you know, I remember you at my last event, da da da, -da. you know, I'm Miss Chloe, if you didn't know, and to me, I feel like if you're able to interact with the people who come out and support you, or the people who just come out, you know, as far as, like, hearing about there's an event at a spot, and everybody knows that's to go to, you know, I feel like you should always have the respect, you know, to me, if you are respectful to others, they'll definitely respect you as far as being at your event. So that's honestly what I believe as far as a pro and a con is to being a promoter. Sweat it out, sweat it, sweat it. Legs up, legs up. spread them out. I'ma come through and sweat it out. Um, well, I've been here about six months. I, I'm not familiar very much with other promoters, which should say something right there because the other promoters don't come up to me and introduce themselves to me. Um, personally, I love Miss Chloe. She's very personable. She's very friendly. Um, she interacts with both bartenders and her customers and keeps everyone um, in touch with what's going on uh, as far as her nights go. Um, she's not greedy. Um, She's not here to just make money, go home, like everyone else appears to do so. I mean, I just love Miss Chloe. Well, for one, Miss Chloe likes to pay. So many promoters are really stingy, and, and she believes in paying for security. She makes you want to make sure her events are secure tight. And with I'm saying that, we have enough security, we have no problem, we have a great time, everybody feels safe. We have, I mean, this is where it's at. People are safe. They have a great time. Well, I'm from D.C., I'm up here visiting my sister, this is my brother's nightclub. I don't really know too many of the other promoters, but from what I hear about Miss Chloe is that she's a good promoter, she's very humble, real and ready, her, her, whatever she promotes always, always jumps. My first party of attending that Miss Chloe is promoting would be, Friday, would be Friday, this Friday, or whatever, but from just like the pictures that I've seen of the parties that she has promoted and hosted and things like that, I can see that she's really good at promoting. Uh, Miss Chloe's parties are great. They are uh, drama free. I've known uh, a lot of promoters throughout Dayton. And uh, we love her. She communicates best with the bar managers and lets them know what the deals are, what the specials are running. She does not allow underage kids and all that. So it's always a great pleasure to work with Miss, Miss Chloe. Her attitude, you get what you see, no matter the environment, venue, place. <laughs> Meaning, just like presidents, normally when they campaign and they're nice to you, it's always because they want to gain something from you. With Chloe, it's never about a selfish act or anything. She's a very selfless promoter. You know, even if you can't make it to her event, she's always asking you if it's okay, can I update you when my next one is, or whatnot. And, you know, she's just a positive and mature, you know, person. If you're in a nursing home, she's still enthusiastic, optimistic. Whether you're in a club, she still has that that great spirit about herself. It makes you, you know, want to smile when her presence 
is around or whatever in the atmosphere. Um, even when she's shopping in small boutiques, she's just a very enthusiastic young individual. You would never know her age just by, you know, meeting her. And I think that makes a difference. A lot of promoters, the only time they're nice to you is when they're passing out flyers and once you come make their event is sold out. But with her, you never have to worry about if the event's going to be sold out. She just wants you to come so you can have a good time and enjoy yourself. And I feel like having a positive attitude, a nice attitude, a classy attitude, it really makes a difference, especially when you're a young entrepreneur, promoter. Like, she's just a very well-rounded young individual, and I think that's what makes the difference. You can always catch her smiling. If something was wrong, you would never know. She treats everyone like she would want to be treated, no matter what's going on. If it's somebody else in there, she might see you walking in any other local club, and she's still saying, oh, have a good time, no matter if it's her event or someone else's. And when you want to see other people do good as well as yourself, I think that says a lot about you as a person, a promoter. But she's definitely a great person. I think that's what makes her different from other promoters. You get what you see, no matter what, at all times. This song for the girls with the hair did Instead of paying bills, rather get their nails did Instead of staying home, rather just club hop So I'ma take it to the crib and put You all may, may know me as Miss Chloe from doing First Fridays at Therapy Cafe I am no longer there um, I have definitely outgrew the spot And uh, honestly, you can catch me live still each and every First Friday At the vault, which is on 20 North Jefferson Street um, I no longer go by First Fridays, but it still is on each and every first Friday of the month. Um, I go by the, the main event. And I came up with the main event because I feel like there is at least maybe three or four first Fridays that go on here. And to me, I bring out the funness when it comes to first Fridays, um, the main event. So to me, I feel like I dominate on that night. So the main event, like, if you want to go there, we can go there. I mean, I'm being real cocky right now, but I honestly don't care because, I mean, I've had a story, honestly, that has happened, but, you know, I'd rather not share, but I just want you all to know that I am still doing First Fridays, but I'm the main event. And I wanted you all to know that if you're trying to find me, catch me each and every First Friday at the ball, 20 North Jefferson Street. Miss Chloe's main event. Turn up. Miss Chloe, the main event each and every first Friday. Hope to see you there. Miss Chloe's main event every first Friday. Catch me there. Turn up. See you working. Work. Salute. Catch Miss Chloe from the lab each and every first Friday the main event. on the floor. DJ Four Seasons main event. Miss Chloe, turn up. Would you go for a trip, nigga? That's right, you can catch me, Miss Chloe, each and every first Friday of the month at The Vault, 20 North Jefferson Street. You can follow me on Twitter at Chloe underscore Eliz9. Catch me on Instagram, Miss Chloe 33, that's M-I-S-S-C-H-L-O-E 33. I accept any and everybody, so if you find me and you follow me, I accept you and shout you out. Thank you for tuning in and getting to know me, Miss Chloe. And I definitely want to thank all my supporters for coming and interviewing with me tonight and I definitely hope this video inspires many and multiple. See you later.